Harold's Idol Written and told by Kiefer Adams For many years on the island of Sodor, the engines have relied on Harold the helicopter to help them out with emergencies and important missions. Engines like Percy looked up to Harold. If the mail, for example, was delayed, and Harold should just be passing by, he would be more than happy to help. Harold had worked on the island of Sodor for a long time, but no one exactly understood why he wanted to be a rescue helicopter in the first place. You would often find Harold resting at Dryall Station on Thomas's branch line, but ever since the Sodor airport had opened, Harold had been there more often. He would often talk to Jeremy, the jet plane, or Rufus, the vehicle that brought the passengers to their planes, all about his adventures. But one day, Jeremy and Rufus would be in for a surprise. Rufus had brought Jeremy his fuel for his first flight of the day. They couldn't help but notice that Harold was in a particularly good mood. Something's got you excited, said Rufus. What's going on, Harold? He's coming to Sodor, old chaps, replied Harold grandly. Uh. Who's coming to the island? asked Jeremy. Why, Lionel, of course, replied Harold. Jeremy and Rufus looked at each other with confusion. Who's Lionel? asked Rufus. He was the very inspiration that I became a rescue helicopter, old boy, replied Harold. He's a twin blade. That means he has two sets of propellers. His rescue missions inspired me to do my own and he's coming to Sodor to do some demonstrations. It'll be so exciting to finally meet him. Just don't go over the top, Harold, reassured Jeremy. Some people that idolise others can get a little over the top. Quite right, agreed Rufus. In fact, when I first came to the airport, I admired the pair of you. I've calmed down since, of course. Don't you worry about a thing, old chaps, said Harold. Lionel will be made especially welcome, not just by us, but everyone on Sodor. Got to go, gentlemen. Duty calls. And with that, Harold took to the air. Rufus and Jeremy were now secretly excited to see what this Lionel could do. Lionel was indeed a majestic sight. He was a large yellow helicopter, and he had a sliding door on his sides. He also had a huge flashlight on his front. It was much brighter than Harold's. As Harold had said, Lionel had two sets of propellers, which meant he could do rescue missions in double the time Harold could. Everyone who saw Lionel was amazed by his appearance. He was always willing to demonstrate what he could do and answer any question that came his way. The other engines had to admit, Lionel was going to get on just fine during his stay on Sodor. What's this I hear about a rescue helicopter? Molly asked Emily a few days later. Don't we have Harold? Well, of course we do, replied Emily. But this one's called Lionel. He's quite unique. Will we ever see him? said Molly. Before Emily could reply, a great buzzing sound could be heard from above. I think he just answered your question, she said. Look up. Molly did, and sure enough, there was Lionel out on patrol. Good day, fellow engines, he boomed grandly. Duty calls, and he was out and away within moments. The two engines giggled to themselves and parted ways shortly afterwards. Meanwhile, Harold was on a mission of his own. He had just brought some supplies to a campsite not far from Thomas's branch line. As he was getting ready to head home, Thomas came hurrying round the corner. Harold, he gasped, thank goodness you're here. Is there a problem, old chap? asked Harold. Lionel didn't return to the airport, said Thomas. The manager has been trying to call his pilot, but they don't know where he is. Lionel must be stranded gasped Harold. Leave it to me, Thomas. I'll find him. Harold quickly took to the air as Thomas looked on. Harold searched 
and searched, and for a while he couldn't find Lionel anywhere. But he soon did. Over there, he called to his pilot. Lionel was near a small country road, looking rather sorry for himself, as Harold gently touched down next to him. I say, Lionel exclaimed, you're Harold the helicopter. The other engines have spoken very highly of you. Oh, have they? said Harold, but he quickly snapped out of his trance. Uh, what seems to be the problem? I was told you needed an emergency. I ran out of fuel, said Lionel. I don't know where to get more. Leave it to me, old chap, replied Harold. I'll see what I can do. Harold quickly took to the air and came back from the airport moments later. Two drums of fresh fuel, just like the helicopters, were inserted into Lionel's tanks. Thank you, said Lionel. I don't know what I would have done without you. No, thank you, replied Harold. You were my inspiration and a great idol to me. It's the least I can do. Lionel blushed. And I guess you're my inspiration, Harold. Thank you ever so much. Harold beamed. Shall we head back to the airport, old boy? There'll be a great crowd to see you. I wouldn't have it any other way, said Lionel. Lead the way, Harold. The two helicopters were soon back in the sky and making their way to the airport. Harold was beaming brightly. Not only did he get the honour of meeting the one helicopter who inspired him, but now he's more pleased to admit he even rescued Lionel as well.